Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Today's story comes from my big book of Bible stories. Today's story is The Walls of Jericho. You have probably heard or may already know about Josh and the Great Wall of Jericho. Oh, how he stumbled and stomped all about and around and the walls of that town came a-tumbling down. But I'll bet my big toe that you never did know, or may have never heard one mysterious word about what happened after the walls finally fell, which is what I'm about to both show and to tell. We were working God's plan. We did just what He said. Every morning at 8, we all jumped out of bed, and without one we peep, sneaker, squeaker, or sound, We marched up to that city and trotted around. From one side to the next, through the smog and the haze, just the way that God said for six dusty long days. For this land was our land, and we knew that although someone had put up this city, it all had to go. When the seventh day came, we all jumped out of bed. We knew just what to do. We would do what God said. Yes, this city was ours, and it had to her plop, for God said that it would from the tip to the top. So we stamped and we stomped and we tramped and we tromped seven times all around till we finally stopped. Then we filled up our lungs and got ready to shout and watch God blow those walls straight on up and clean out. Now remember, I cried, when the walls tumble down, we must destroy every last thing in this town. Don't pick anything up. Don't take anything home, not one toothbrush or Q-tip or greasy black comb. For God said if we snitch, even one little pot, he will punish us all, so we all better not. So we blew on our trumpets, we blew them out loud, then we started to shout, and the walls tumbled down. From the east to the west, from the north to the south, the whole place bit the dust by the words of our mouth. Oh, but wouldn't you know, in that one certain spot, there where no one would know if he did or did not. There where no one would see, could be seen or get caught, Achan saw it and took it and knew he should not. For it glittered and twinkled, it sparkled and shined, Achan wanted it all, all he ever could find. And it tangled and choked and infested the place, where God once made his home, where he poured out his grace. And what once was so rich became desperate and poor, but he just didn't care, all he wanted was more. So he stuffed all that stuff up inside of his shirt, and tiptoed on back to his tent in the dirt. And he buried that gold and the stuff that he took, way down deeply where nobody ever would look. So what's the big deal you may wonder today? Oh, it's just some old stuff, anyhow, anyway. No one will ever know. It will never be missed. But the problem is not with the stuff, it's with this. When God says do not, what he means is do not. And because of the one thing that Achan did do, more than 30 men died. Yes, and Achan died too. For God said if they took just one pot or one lid, he would punish them all, and he had to, and did. God's rules are God's rules. He is God. I am not. I will do what God says because he is the boss. I may not understand. That's completely okay. I don't need to ask why. I will simply obey.